On this episode, I go to Kensington Market, I take a ride on a food bus, and I quietly cook with my mom. What's good, beautiful people? There you are. Hey, how you doing? It's your boy, Chef Mo, back again. Happy holidays, I gotta say, first and foremost. Uh, this, is, this is the Christmas episode. Uh, uh, and kind of a little bit of an anniversary, because it was a year ago that I actually started making this whole thing uh, when I was trying to outline how much work I was doing over Christmas. And let me tell you, Christmas this year, no different absolutely no different uh, I've been working crazily but I knew that I couldn't leave you guys it's been a long time and I couldn't leave you without leaving this year without giving you at least you know a little something something a little new content for you um, and a bit of an announcement because starting in February I'm gonna have all new episodes coming out full length uh, things like this so Look for that. Yeah, I'm down here in Kensington Market, uh, shopping for some Christmas time foods. Uh, I'm actually heading up to my mom's place, and we're actually gonna go back and do. Remember when I screwed up that episode, that uh, that recipe back in episode six? Well, now is the time. Especially during the holidays, I decided to get my parents involved. So uh, later on in this episode, you're gonna see uh, my mom and me, and we're gonna make a recipe. It's gonna be a pumpkin souffle. It's gonna be pretty sweet and kind of fancy in French, I guess, right? Um, but I wanted to show a little bit more about Toronto and what to do uh, around Christmas time. So I hooked up with my boy Chef Aaron from Chef Life, uh, and we headed down to the Aurora Holiday Festival down in Ontario Place, where they have like mad Christmas lights set up, and uh, well, we had a bit of a time. So why don't you check that out right about now? All right. What's good, Chef Mo? I am here with Chef Aaron, and together we're here checking out the Aurora Christmas Festival at the Ontario Place. So we're here at uh, Randy's Roti at uh, the Aurora Winter Fest. We're checking them out, and uh, Randy's got about four locations in the, in the GTA surrounding area. So he's got his newest location at Young Street. Definitely a place you got to check out. Uh, we're down here coming to check out some of my favorites at Randy's: is his doubles uh, or his curry chicken roti, or you got to check out his jerk chicken. So uh, brought Mo down here. We're gonna go check it out. Uh, yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> you gotta feed me, dog. A lot of good eats. Uh... And, 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 and all of that sounds delicious, but the thing I'm really freaked out about is what is he serving it out of, dude? Like, oh, you got you got to see this thing. It's a TTC bus converted into a food truck. It's a food bus. Uh, you got food three bus. serving three serving windows, uh, two kitchens in this thing. It's nuts. You got to come see it. Definitely a check out. I'm in Randy's food truck right now. It got so crazy in here. So Aaron actually had to jump in and start doing orders. Check this shit out. His craziness 
this at the Aurora Festival. Ah. Well, that was fun, but uh, I kind of lost Chef Aaron because he got dragged into work. Uh, so this has been the Aurora Christmas Fest. I am Chef Mo, Chef Aaron, and all of us from Chef Life. Happy holidays, deuces to uses. I'm out. So I stopped in here at the Film Cafe to uh, grab myself a banana hot chocolate. If you're down here in Kensington, stop down here, get yourself a banana hot chocolate. They are awesome. Uh, so that was the Aurora Film Fest, uh, the Aurora Christmas Fest, sorry. Shout outs to Randy. Uh, I never got to eat a double bun. Uh, so you owe me a double, my friend. Uh, but shout outs to him. If you want to check him out, I'm going to put links down in the description so you can go check him out. Uh, and shout outs to Chef Aaron, of course, from Chef Life. I'll put links for him down in the description so you can go and check out some of the things that he's done. Uh, I have a feeling you're going to be seeing a lot of him on this show very soon. Uh, anyways, uh, oh, and shout outs to the Aurora uh, Holiday Fest. Uh, they are down at Ontario Place until December 30th, so you'll probably see this and you'll be able to go check them out. So I strongly suggest it. They have a cool um, Christmas lights exhibit that we didn't get a chance to go through because the lineup was just way too long. Uh, and Aaron got working. You know, that happens. So, uh, now we're going to go to my parents' house because I haven't done any grocery shopping yet because I stopped for banana chocolate. So I'm going to go do a bunch of that. And while I do a bunch of that, you uh, check out what my mom and I are doing. Making a pumpkin souffle. It'll be delicious. I'm going to drink this banana hot chocolate, which is up. Sweet. Thank you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy this banana hot chocolate. You guys enjoy the pumpkin souffle. See if you can make one yourself, because they're not that easy. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit.
So that's it. Show over. That's the end of the episode. I got all my groceries from Kensington Market. I'm almost at my parents' house. Uh, so I guess the only thing left to say is I hope sincerely that first off, thank you. Thank you so much for being with me through this. Thank you so much for liking and sharing it and subscribing to the channel. It's been really cool. Uh, since I started making this, it's gone up a lot. Uh, I strongly consider, I strongly encourage you that, uh, you know, if you do like it, please share it around. Uh, tell your friends, uh, you know, otherwise for me, I'm going to be, you know, out and about. So if you see me around, give me a pound, say, hey, it's, you know, it's on the show. Da, da, da. That'd be really cool. Um, just like thanking a chef whenever you, whenever you get a good meal from him, you know, that's, that's the thing that we live for. Uh, so with that being said, I guess that's about it. So the only thing left to be said is I hope that you guys have a happy holidays, a safe holidays. And, uh, for me and everybody else in the chef life, oh, why'd you turn off? So, uh, I guess the only thing left to be said is, is, uh, I wish everybody a happy holidays, safe holidays, and come back in the new year, and uh, who knows, we'll have this chef life going on. So for me and everybody living this chef life, over here, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm out. Thanks for watching. You made it to the end of the video. You want some more videos? Click one of these. Or to get any new information, Chef Mo Toronto.com